Hello, hello. Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you from the Arizona Republic newspaper. Um, it has a Pulitzer Prize winner, uh, Steve Benson, uh, the great-grandson of Ezra Taft Benson, a prophet, seer, and revelator, <laughs> who never prophesied anything, who never saw anything, and he never revelated anything, just like the other Mormon prophets. Um, Steve is a Pulitzer Prize winner here, and I'm down in the uh, cafeteria, so if you hear the dishes in the background, you'll know what's going on. Um, this monson summons and the law suit, it's not civil, it's criminal, against the monson, Spence, not, <laughs> what's his name, Thomas S. Monson. Uh, anyway, um, I don't understand all the differences between United States law and British law. Obviously, I don't know. I'm not a criminal attorney in the British Isles. Well, Steve Benson is one of the most <laughs> articulate and uh, detailed writer I have ever uh, had the privilege to uh, read. And I have a link down below, and Steve has laid out <laughs> so many things that are different that I didn't understand, but I do now. Monson and the Mormon Church are in deep shit. <laughs> this is a criminal case. It is not two ex-Mormons suing him. First of all, they're not ex-Mormons. They're active members of the church. <laughs> and they can't be excommunicated because uh, one of them there has received the second anointing, which means he is a king uh, and a prophet and a... <laughs> seer and a revelator and, and, and a god all unto himself and you can't excommunicate gods. <laughs> so the Mormons tangle themselves more and more. All you have to do is ask a Mormon about their doctrine and right there um, no one's going to join that cult. <laughs> no one's going to join it. They can fly by the seat of their pants and kind of go as the, uh, as the wind blows. But anyway, uh, Steve has done an excellent job. And uh, when people do a better job than me, I'm going to tell you, it's better than me. He has studied it. He knows it well. He's articulate. And he's an excellent writer. And uh, so read my link down below. It's Steve and um, his synopsis of the, uh, <laughs> the shit pile the Mormon church is in in England. Um, I had a copy of a, a tithing slip. And I didn't put it up. If I can find it, I'll go back and I'll link it again onto this video. That when you pay um, $100 in Britain in tithing, $80 uh, of that money. Oh, I don't want to say this wrong. Anyway, there, there's a large, not a large, about 20% of the money goes to the British government of the tithing and then they cut a check to the Mormon church. <laughs> so when the British people find out they've been paying tithing with their tax dollars, th this, you know, it, they say if it smells like shit and looks like shit, it's probably shit. <laughs> so anyway, Monson's going to be, you know, on his horse riding to Carthage and being like a lamb to the slaughter. So. Um, I hope Packer becomes the uh, president of the church. This kind of stress on Monson could kill him. <laughs> and then he goes to see Jesus, and Jesus is going to see him and say, What the hell? I don't even know you. I've never appeared to you. You lying bastard. You cheated the English out of their taxes, and now you use my name. Go down with the bard into outer darkness <laughs> and, and take some ice with you. It's pretty hot down there. President Monson. So anyway, take a look at the link down there. And uh, I want to say too, uh, before I close this video, um, I really appreciate some of the positive comments <laughs> that some of you make. Um, it does make my day. I try very hard, and I think I've done well. I, I don't see this as my 15 minutes of fame. The Mormon Church has screwed me up so bad in my head. I'll do this the rest of my life. It's my therapy, folks. It's my therapy. 
I've never made a penny, a dime, a nickel. Well, I've made millions of dollars. No, I haven't made a cent off of this. And I've always opened up my um, uh, copyright on these. If you want to repeat these, you want to put them together, <laughs> you want to put together the ten most important statements of the Bard. One guy I saw on Google had uh, the, the ten best uh, videos of the Bard. You can use my stuff 100%. Just use this video right here. It says you can quote the bard. You can use his stories. You can make cartoons, make fun of him. So I really do appreciate some of the uh, sincere comments that I get. And, and you know, the Mormon comments, they speak for themselves. Good Lord, if you want to know what Mormons are really like, go look at my uh, comments. I leave them in there. I leave them in there because I want you know, the Mormons to speak for themselves, and then other people can make um, decisions that are informed of what kind of people they really are. So anyway, take a look at the link down. Stephen's done an excellent job down there to explain to me and the rest of the world who is willing to read him uh, how much trouble Monson and the Mormon Church are really in. These are not uh, American courts. This is not an American lawsuit. This is a criminal complaint by the court system uh, in the England, the country of England, against Monson and the Mormon Church. So anyway, take a look. Thanks.